Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to go ahead and install our panel and start wiring everything up. Everything should slide in just night. These are going to space 16 inches on center, so that should give us 14 from edge to edge, or 14 and a half edge to edge. And that's the same size as our panel right there. So we'll go ahead and stop the same right between, screw it in place, and start pulling the wires down and start tying it all in. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing mounted. If you look a little closer, we're gonna side of this panel right here. You have two uh, measurements, half inch and five eighths. So this is for the type of sheetrock we're gonna be using. So this panel is actually gonna be recessed. We're putting half inch sheetrock on. So we'll go ahead and line this up to the face of this stud, screw it in, and once we get the sheetrock on there, it's gonna be nice and recessed. This cover goes on nice and neat. It won't be protruding out past the wall or too far into the wall. Alright, so I install this like a five and a half feet, so it's pretty much eye level, top of the panel, easy enough. Um, I'm probably about a sixteenth of an inch in, which is great, so once we put the half inch sheetrock on there, be a nice, good, clean finish. So you're looking at the uh, panel guts. Right here is the 150 amp main breaker. Um, you got A phase, you got B phase, it's both your hot wires. So this leg right here is 120 volts, this leg right here is 120 volts. So if you put both them together, you need 240 volts. So you're gonna have 240 volts coming in. If you look at your two bars right here. This is where your ground is your neutral attached to. So this is right here is your, is your service coming in. So you're gonna go ahead and bond your neutral bar and your ground bar together. You see this little green screw right here? This is called a bonding screw. So we bond this can to this. We gotta screw this thing all the way down so it meets the back side of this panel right here. And it'll bond everything, the entire thing will be grounded. Um, getting back on the, uh, get back to the bus bars. We have A phase and B phase. If you look at it, you see right here, this top row right here is going to be A phase. Next row is B phase. It alternates. It goes back to the A phase, B phase, A phase, B phase. So essentially what's happening is this right here is your A phase. This wire right here feeds this entire bar. So it'll feed A, 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 and so on and so forth. And this side is your B phase. Comes down your bus bar. B phase, B phase, B phase, B phase. So, you go ahead and put the breakers in. Very, very, very simple. Then just uh, slap them in. These two breakers are here on A phase. So if I go ahead and put this two pole 30 amp in here. Get A phase. This portion of this breaker is on B phase. This portion of the breaker is on A phase again. And it keeps going down just like that. All right, so we're going to take the Romex, pop these KOs out, start wiring everything up. Uh, we're not wiring the main breaker up today. Um, it's actually going to be wired to the uh, generator temporarily until we get a solar system set up. I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decide to leave They 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, take all our grounds, get them all together, bunched up, train them nice and neat down the side of the panel, and start tying them to the ground bar.
All right, so we've sunk in our uh, bond screw. If you look on the back side right here, actually came through and it went through and it's bonded now. So pretty much what it did is bond your ground and your neutral together for your service. All right, same thing on this side, all of our grounds are in. Neutrals are tied in also. All right, so we got our hot tied into the breakers. My hot wire going in. There's an arc fault breaker. And the neutral goes in where that little white dot is right there on this side. You take this little pigtail off the side of this breaker, the neutral goes into here. What an arc fault breaker does, the senses your receptacle has a little arc or a so you plug them in and it sparks a little bit, it automatically trip the breaker. Hence arc fault. Arcs a little bit or trip the breaker. I guess it helps against electrical fires. In my opinion it's a scam, but whatever, it's what it is. All right, so we're all wired up. Breakers are installed. All the wires landed in the proper locations. Um, just look at your breakers. If you have a 20 amp breaker, you need to have 12 wire. That's why I do it. Um, 15 amp breaker, we have 14 wire. Um, look up top. This right here, the yellow is a uh, 12 wire. This right here is a 14 wire. Um, look at our two bars right here. It's your ground and your neutral bar. Um, everything's bonded together because it's your service. We have the green ground screw bonded to the can, so the entire thing's bonded because this is where your service comes in at. Um, what we're doing next, we're not using this yet until we get on solar. Right now we're actually generator power, so we're actually going to feed this thing with a generator plug outside. And that's going to come up to the bottom and tie into our two pole 30 amp breaker right here. So now it's time to start potholing for the ground rods. The first thing I like to do is go ahead and put those acorns on because that ground rod will mushroom out when I start hitting it with a hammer. And I won't be able to get those acorns on. Let's start the ground rod into the dirt. Put the hammer drill on there. It goes down with ease. The living in the mountains, I know I'm going to hit shale. So we hit shale, and I instantly regretted not rutting that jackhammer to start hammering this in. So now we're going to go ahead and start digging a trench from ground rod to ground rod. We went ahead and spaced them about seven and a half feet apart. Code requires us to space them six. We went to low extra distance, made it seven and a half feet. We're going to start pulling the number six copper ground wire to the other ground rod. And then from there, it goes back to the panel. So we're pulling the wire down to the other ground rod. If you look, see how we're bringing that wire to the back side of the acorn? That's the spot you want to put it at. You don't want to put that against the bolt side because it won't get a good enough bite. You always want to go on the back side of that acorn. Now 
Now that I got both those acorns tightened up, I'm going to go ahead and run that wire back to the pan on the house, then go ahead and backfill it, and then start wiring up inside the house. This wire right here is 10 3, 10 wire. You got a uh, call 10 3, you have three conductors. You get your hot, another hot. This right here is your ground and conductor, which is your neutral, and you get your ground. All right, so you guys saw me install the ground rods. Um, I made a big mistake on that. I should have brought home a jackhammer. Um, second big mistake, I should have brought a sledgehammer after that because I didn't have that either. I had my four pound hammer and I probably hit each ground rod probably 300 times each. Right, Aaron? Yeah. So <laughs> it's awful. Um, that being said, um, we got them driven. You saw us wire them up. We uh, put number six copper out there. We had bonded everything with the acorns. Pull the wire through. The wire is actually bonded back to the uh, bar right here, so that's done. The whole system is grounded. Um, looking at our breakers right here, if you look at everything, we have 20 amp breakers and 15 amp breakers. The 20 amp breakers are taking 12 wire, the 15 amp breakers are taking 14 wire. Easy way to tell what's what, if you look at your Rubex up top, your yellow is your 12, your white is your 14. See down here also, we have orange, that's number 10 wire. So. Getting back to the panel right here, we're not wiring anything onto this main breaker, not yet. Um, when the solar system comes through, we're going to go ahead and install that, get everything on solar. But for now, we're temporarily powered. It means we have a generator to run everything. So what we did is we installed a 30 amp breaker, 2 pole 30. Came down with 10 wire, and that's going to go outside to this box right here. This is a uh, generator box right here, or I guess a generator plug, a generator outlet. Um, we're just going to go ahead and feed off the generator wire into this thing, we'll plug it in and get this thing energized and that's how we're going to run off power for the next few months. So that's it for this video guys. We weren't planning on doing a video on this generator plug box here. If you want to see something on it, just leave a comment down below. Um, we'll show about how to hook it up, wire everything up, and then also get the generator plugged into here and check voltage and see how this entire thing works. Um, just comment below if you want to see that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.